Raw sewage dumped into the Ogalley River. A broken sewer pipe caused this mess. The big question now, when are crews going to fix the broken pipe? News 6 reporter James Sparvero is working to get answers on this big cleanup effort. This is where the Ogalley River meets the Indian River. It's the path through which three or 400,000 gallons of raw sewage flowed into the lagoon. It's a disaster. It's disgusting too as well. No swimming. People, you know, swim in these waters. Don't want to see them get sick. No fishing. Definitely don't want to eat anything out of here. Buddies John Stroud and Kyle Sharp. See that jack over there? They're still out here on the water. Yeah, I see it, yeah catching bait on their way to go fishing far away from where last week's test samples found bacteria levels in this part of the Ogalley River 39 times higher than water upstream. Right now there's still raw sewage flowing into this retention pond. Workers last week diverted sewage from the spill from the river to here. While the birds and the gators don't seem to mind the smell, some people living around the Apollo Boulevard Bridge can't stand it. As soon as you come this way, you can start smelling it. Marianne Benson walks her dog across the bridge every day. <laughs> now, sometimes on the opposite side of where workers busted the pipe. I'm worried because there's wildlife all along here. The pond they're filling has gators and birds and everything else around it. I don't know what it does to them. The city says work to repair the busted pipe will start late tonight, likely after midnight. The raw sewage in this pond will eventually be taken to a treatment plant. In Melbourne, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.